you are bypassing FRP of any mobile. You are having to face a lot of problems such as the settings of the device are not being opened. Click on settings. Device settings are not open. There is no offline setup option. You have to face this problem. All these problems will be solved in this video. Please watch the video till the end. Currently friends, this device I have is Motorola Brandy. On the back side, you can see Motorola branding. Its model number is Motorola. This 50 Pro 5G device is our FRP lock, i.e. Gmail account lock and Google account lock. Now friends, how will you know that your device is FRP lock? Then I will tell you a small trick. You pay attention to opening up in my device. Doing a little locker show, right? So if this type of locker shows in your Motorola mobile, then it means it is confirmed that the device is your FRP lock. Gmail ID is locked. Note that your Google account is locked. Friends, in the latest security, the settings of the device are not being opened. If the setup offline option is not showing, then I will tell the solution to all these problems in this video. Please don't skip the video. First of all, friends, I confirm to you that this Motorola device I have is completely FRP lock. Google account is locked. See here. You have come to the connect to Wi-Fi option and see here. Now none of the next options is showing, so what should you do first? Here, the device has to connect to a Wi-Fi network because it is necessary to run the net in the device. So here I connected the device to Wi-Fi device connected. Wait a few seconds to confirm that I have this device. The Motorola S50 Pro 5G is fully FRP locked. Now see here friends, the option of verify pattern has come, that is, the device was our pattern lock earlier, and to bypass the FRP of the device, you have to verify this pattern here. Now the second option, friends, look at the bottom, it says, use my Google account institute, I click on it, and now you will see it will be written here, and you can see the option of verify your account has come, now to bypass the FRP of this device, you have to verify the email ID of this device, i.e. Gmail ID here, which we do not know. Okay, it is completely confirmed that the device is FRP locked. So now friends, I will tell you how to bypass the FRP lock of any Motorola 5G mobile in the latest security. You get out of here. See the Motorola privacy policy option here. Just click on it. We will wait a little bit. Okay, now after that, from here right below, you will see how do I contact Motorola? You simply click on it. After that, at the very bottom, let's see here. You will see Lenovo.com contact you. Simply click on this option. After clicking, if you do a little wait, it will open. Okay? Now see here. Proceed with United States of America. You click on it. Then look upwards. There is an option to cancel. We cancel it from here. Now friends, pay attention here. You are seeing the serial number. What you have to do is double click on it you will see the option of share very fast. You have to click on share. Okay, look carefully. Here I double click share. Okay, double click share, double click share. Here, double click share. You click here. Then you will see the option of share here. Okay, see here, double click share, double click share. As soon as the share appears, click on the share. Well, this work has to be done very fast and see this copy share select, all option has come. All right, what do you do now is click on share. As soon as you click on the share, you will see all these options of the share. Here you have to click on the message. From here you have to make a new message. Name phone number is the option here. You type one to anything. Anything you can type. An option to send to will appear. You click on it. The message is done here. You have to type friends www.youtube.com. You can see on the display exactly the same type. Then here I have typed www.youtube. After typing, click on SMS. Is this arrow? You click on the simple list arrow. Wait a little bit, you'll see YouTube here. If you click on simple YouTube, the YouTube application will open on your device. Whatever permission comes, get all permission. In the corner, you will see the account. You click on account, then you will click on settings. After about, YouTube term services will appear. Click on it and Chrome browser will open on your device. Click on this option. No thanks from here. This is the address mark. You click on it. Here you have to type friends FRP file firmware. You can see on BD display exactly the same type. Then here I type and search. You are seeing this website. You simply click on it. Then the website of firmware BD will be opened in your mobile. Come down here. Friends will come down then pay attention here. 
friends, in the latest security, the settings of the device are not being opened and a lot of comments are coming for this. So what is the solution? In this video, I will tell you what you have to do simply. Friends, come down from here. Okay, friends, you will see an option here. You will see the option of open moto. Simply click on it. Okay. After that, the gate will start from here. From here, you have to simply next, then swipe upward from here. Here you can see the gesture option. Click on simple gesture and you will get the slide bar option. You click on this slide bar is off here. You turn it on. You will see it here. Settings appear. Click on simple settings. Now friends, pay attention here. You can see a lot of option add to remove all these options. Then whatever option is added from here, remove all these options from here. Then look here. The app tool is contact. You click on simple tools. Here you have to add two. First of all, back to home, you add it and see this switch to the last tab. You have to add these two here. After that, from here, you come back to the website with firmware BD. Then from here, we will go back to the website with firmware BD. Then click on open Moto Source. Moto Source will open in your device. Do you need to set it up? Click on learn mode. Do simple next from here and check. Now after that, you will see network protection here. Click on it. Explore from here. Look upwards. You will see the search option. You click on search. Here you have to type friends on the apps display. You can see what is on the first, second, third, third number. Click on it. Then come down. App battery users will be visible. Click on it. Then you will see the list of all the applications here will come in front of you. What should you do? Android Auto, you click on it. You have to disable it and click Simple Disable to disable forced stop. Disable the app from here. Forced stop will appear. Click on it and click here. Okay, after that, come back. You will see Android Setup on the second number. You click on it, it is disabled. All you have to do is force stop it, then force stop from here, then OK, then come back. There is another app that you have to disable. The last application is Google Play Services. You click on it to do the same work. Disable and then disable it from here. Then disable the app. You have to do it from here and then OK. OK. Now all the applications that were to be disabled and stopped are gone. So what do you have to do now? Friends? You have to sit on the home screen from here, then to sit here, you will see the slide bar on the side of the page, hold it and swipe it, then the slide bar will open from here. Okay, let's make the next one from here. We will make the next one. Okay, I will do this. See the slide bar opened. Click the back to home button. Your device will be completely baked. On the home screen now, you have to set up. So first we will go absolutely baked from here and now we will set up. Click here to start. Skip this. From here, click on accept and continue. Getting your phone ready, you have to wait. If the pattern pink option comes, then you will skip this option from here. Okay, from here, again, you will skip. Now you will see friends, just the FEU moment. What will happen now? This will continue. Friends, you will wait for a lot of time. There will be no processor in the future. It will do a continuous round, okay? Then here you have to wait for one minute. Here you have to wait for some time. 40 to 45 seconds minimum, you will wait here. We waited for one minute. What will we do now? Friends, bake will run from here exactly on the home screen. So from here, I will run bake absolutely. You absolutely have to come back. On the home screen, you get absolutely baked from here. On the home screen, now after that, you have to set up again. Then from here, you click on start. Okay, skip. Click on it. Getting your phone ready. Now bake from here. Now see this. After bake comes, see this. The option of setup offline has been shown here. Okay. Now you have to open the slide bar. Then from here, you can open the slide bar. Okay. Now after that, this fourth option is switched to you simply have to click on this. As soon as you delete friends, you will see the Google Play Services app will open. You have disabled Google Play Services. 
So now you have to enable it from here. Enable Google Play services has been enabled now, friends. From here, you have to go big. The offline setup option is very comfortable. One point from here, we will walk back. You have to bake on the setup offline option. Then from here, we will bake on the setup offline option. Okay, so from here we go. See the setup offline option. Now you click on this simple from here, you click on continue. Okay, now accept from here. If the option of Google services comes, then this option has arrived. FRP of its device has been completely bypassed. Okay, here we will click on more, accept, okay. You have to turn off these two options from here. After that, click on Peacock, click on Next, click on Once Again, click on Next. You click on it, okay, go to my home screen, you click on this and just go. Friends, now FRP lock of your Motorola device has been completely bypassed. Press this home button and see the home screen of the device is fully opened and you can see that the FRP of the device has been completely bypassed. Another problem needs to be addressed. The notification panel from above does not work when the FRP of the device is bypassed. What to do if the notification panel is not working? Listen carefully. You have to go first in the device settings. After coming in the settings, you will see the system that came in the last. Click on it. Here you will see the reset option. Click on Erase All Data Factory Reset. Click on Erase All Data from here. That is, you must do a factory reset of the device. After that, when the device is turned on, the notification panel will start working properly. So follow this processor, friends. You will be able to easily remove the SRP of all Motorola X YZ mobile phones whose software is up to date from Android 13 or 40. Device settings cannot be opened. There is no offline setup option. I explained all this in this video. Hope you like the video. Please share the video if you like it. Be sure to subscribe and like the channel. If you have any questions related to the video, leave a comment in the comment section. Or if you need to unlock any device of any brandy sitting at home, then you can contact him for this. My contact details are available in the description box. Thanks for watching this video.